Hey there, handy friends. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to decarboxylate your cannabis. So you may have cannabis stems, you may have cannabis leaves, you may just have cannabis. But in order to get it into the right place, you wanna decarboxylate it. So let's talk about that. What is decarboxylation? It's the first process that's done after harvest for consumption. By this I mean, if you're going to smoke, cook, infuse, tincture, or any form of ingestion, you need to decarb your cannabis first. This is a complicated process, so I'm gonna keep explaining it very simple. To decarb means to alter the cannabinoids in the cannabis to help it better interact with the body. This process initiates a chemical reaction to change the acidity of the plant to enhance its effectiveness of the THC and CBD on the body. There are several ways this process can be done, but we will be keeping it simple here as well. If you have ever decarboxylated before, please share your experiences with me in the comments below. So, when you're planning to ingest cannabis, whether it be flower, stem, or leaf, always use the decarb process. If you are trimming fan leaves or sugar leaves at home, one of the easiest ways to dry them is to decarboxylate them. So it's a two-in-one process. That's exactly what we are doing here. These are freshly trimmed fan and sugar leaves and we are going to decarb these in the oven, which is also going to be our drying process. Personally, when there are not a lot of trimmings, I like to air dry my leaves and then I can come back later and decarboxylate them all at the same time and it saves energy and it's a lot easier for me this way. I'm decarbing the leaves and stems with the same process as you would do for the flower, otherwise known as bud. Preheat your oven to 240 degrees and bake for 30 minutes. If you're decarboxylating leaves, be sure to flip them around halfway through. It's that simple. Your home will smell very strongly of cannabis while you are activating this decarboxylation process. It being harvesting season, I do have several other videos coming out about cannabis. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for future great videos to come. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget, stay handy friends. Until next time.